Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. We've got a really exciting product to review today, a truly uh, innovative product. It's by a British company called Telos. Telos have been around for some time. You can see their uh, range of lights here. They've been selling high quality LED lights for years now. And they've developed on to look at innovating in the controls, uh, the lighting controls area. And have developed this new product it's a Bluetooth mesh controller. And it's a little device that basically attaches on, in this case, to the uh, Telos um, driver, an Inventronics driver modified by Telos. And they've got this uh, little um, device on the end of it as mounted on their uh, the range of lights here. And what it does is it connects with Bluetooth to a smartphone and you can network the devices together so that they are, can be controlled together. You can group them together and you can control the dimming function, the on off function. And in the future, they'll be expanding out this technology to control multiple devices in the grow room. At the moment, they're available on the Telos lights as an option, but in the future, they will be developing this, um, this Bluetooth mesh controller to be compatible with a wider range of products. So it's a really exciting innovation in, in the industry. The drawbacks with a lot of the devices that are currently available is that they need a, a wireless network um, in order to, uh, to operate. So you have to have basically a connection to the internet. This network does not require an internet connection. It works on a Bluetooth network that is set up between the devices themselves when you walk away from it, it will continue to work and connect together. And even better, from a security and privacy point of view, you can make this network completely invisible so that when you walk away, there's nobody can detect the, um, the activity or the presence of these Bluetooth devices. Well, I got four of the Telos fixtures with the Bluetooth mesh controllers fitted on the end of the drivers. And the first function that you come to, um, by the way, got really easy to follow instructions, is uh, the quick setup, uh, manual control, Bluetooth, network settings, all of that, really easy to follow. So the first thing you can do is you can just simply control the light with um, by pressing the button on the end. It's touch sensitive, and you can scroll through the basic settings of the light from having it basically on standby to scroll through um, manual dimming settings. So as you touch it, I hope you can see that on the camera, you can increase from 25 to 50 to 75 and up to 100, just scrolling through the, um, the button here. And it goes from sort of a, a yellow to a red as you go through those um, phases. And then you can set it up to Bluetooth, which is where you get the blue light flashing. And that tells you it's ready to set up in Bluetooth. It takes about three seconds to uh, sync. So once you have it, uh, have that uh, all the lights set up with Bluetooth, you then need to download the app. The app is available for um, Android, Android or iOS on the app stores. And you simply search Telos Mesh and then download the app. You can then create a network. You can do a totally private one um, where there's no connection to the outside world at all. We can do a cloud one. Cloud one will restore your settings in the cloud and allow other devices to access those settings or to use the same settings for your particular grouping. It's basically multiple users. With the privacy setting, which I've chosen, um, there will be nobody um, else connected. There's no data uploaded anywhere else or available anywhere else for your particular setup. You then want to scan for the lights and you simply set it to scan. Well, make sure your lights are all, as I said, on the uh, flashing blue so they're ready for setup. And then you simply uh, scan for devices and add each of the lights in turn, identifying what type of light it is, um, in particular with the Telos. Um, and that's uh, important to identify them because you can adjust um, according uh, PPF, 
not just percentage dimming according to the particular light because they have preloaded um, those settings for each of their fixtures. So the next thing to do then is to group your lights if you wish into different groups so you could have room one, room two, flowering room, bedroom, whatever. In this case I just have one group called Migro and I'm going to set a schedule and so I go in and it's very simple it's time on and off for your schedules you can have multiple schedules so you could have a, a veg schedule a flowering schedule and very usefully you can also set it to have sunset and sunrise times which will go through a 30 minute process of dimming up at lights on and dimming down at lights off to uh, ease your plants in and out of the uh, the daytime and nighttime schedules within the schedule you can set the intensity for when the lights come on you can set that either by percentage output or if your product if your light fixture is loaded into the telos app with the um, uh, they will have a ppf equivalent ppf settings so once your light is set up and allocated correctly particularly your telos models you can then adjust not just the percentage output but the average power intensity of the output which is a really nice fix feature the next feature you can use is to make sure your settings are secure and your network is totally private you can go into the setting for each light and you can adjust the um, visibility for each one and therefore make them basically invisible i tested to see if the Bluetooth mesh units were visible when the privacy is on. And to do so, I used a, a app called NRF Connect. And with that, I tried to scan, or I scanned the Bluetooth mesh devices with, the, um, with them visible. And I could see them, I could see the other devices in the building, but I could see these, um, these four units clearly. And then when I changed and put the privacy lock on, for all of the devices, I was not able to detect them whatsoever um, with the app. So that's successful. If you return to the grow room, the only way you can reaccess the fixtures um, is using the app. Alternatively, you can unlock them by tapping five times on the sensor and they will be visible again on the Bluetooth network. I've been really impressed with these Bluetooth mesh controllers by Telos. They have such a, a potential, I think, in the industry. They are neat, compact, um, relatively cheap. They are um, adaptable, so you could be using this on many different devices, not just grow lights in the future. They are expanding out the range, so they will be available as a separate unit. Um, so not just available on Telus lighting, but available to control other lights shortly. I will be updating the links to these developments in the description below, so please keep an eye on those. When I compare what I would normally see, which is um, daisy chain control between drivers and then the addition of a controller, um, usually hardwired through the different grow lights, um, and compared to this system, I see so much more flexibility with this system, particularly as to set up your network, you don't need any wiring, um, you don't need an expensive main controller, you don't need uh, internet connection in order to uh, set up the wireless network here, and you've got full privacy available so that it's invisible um, to anybody within range of the devices. I think all of that is really impressive and indicates that to me that this is, is definitely the technology of the future and I think we'll be seeing lots more of it. So much so, I'm certainly going to be working um, with Telos to see if I can integrate these units or use these as the controllers for my own range. I would really love to do that. As always, be really interested to hear your comments and suggestions and what I've covered here with regard to the, the Telos Bluetooth mesh. Look forward to seeing your comments below. I'll try and get back to them. Maybe Telos might help me with the more technical queries. And uh, yeah, looking forward to, um, to seeing these in the future. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.